Our next stop is we want to take a look at types of angles that you've seen in the past, but we want to use some algebra mixed in with it as well. Complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. Three different types, so we're going to talk definitions first. Just so we remember, a right angle equals 90, right angle. A straight angle equals 180. I'm going to use these in a little bit to help tie in some things. So if you take a look at this picture, here's a, com a combination of two angles put together that make 90 degrees. Here are two angles that go together to make a total of 180 degrees. We do well with knowing this is 90, we do well knowing this is 180. The problem kids have mostly in seventh grade is remembering which is which. Which one is complementary, which one is supplementary? This is a straight angle. It starts with the letter S. Does this picture have a straight angle in it? It does. It has a straight angle which equals 180. My choice is complementary or supplementary. Which one should I pick? Which one makes a straight angle? That's right, it's supplementary. So when you take a look at this, this is supplementary. Why? Because it has an S in it just like a straight angle does. By default then, complementary is 90. So imagine you have a picture like this. We want to be able to write an equation, a truthful statement. What is this angle worth? So if I want to label right now what this angle is worth, some number, but we don't know what the number is, what should I put there? Fine, we'll call it angle A. What is this angle then? Is it the same angle? Well, it doesn't look like it, but do we even know? The answer is no, we don't. So if this is angle A, let's call this one angle B. So if I'm writing an equation, what can I say about A and B? How do they work together to equal 90? Well, I should know that if I join them together with addition. So A plus B equals 90. And this is complementary. Complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90. Supplementary angles, two angles that add up to 180. Again, I don't know the two angles. Let's call this one angle A, this one angle B. A plus B equals 180. How do I remember that 180 goes with supplementary? Because there's an S in supplementary and S in the word straight. Straight angle is a straight line, such as in supplementary angles. Now the last part I want to talk about is vertical. There's not a lot to do with vertical, so I'm just going to kind of put it off to the side. angles are back to back. So there are four angles formed by two intersecting lines. Let's call them one, two, three, and four. Vertical means back to back. Which angles are back to back? Now what's nice about this is the letter V makes a V here and then you have to find the mirror image of the other V that is back to back with it. The big thing with vertical angles is they're equal or congruent, either way you say it. Okay, so I have angle one, two, three, and four. What angle is back to back with angle three? What angle is vertical to three? Yes, it's one. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal, they are congruent. What angle, excuse me, what angle is vertical with two? So what we want to do now is take a look at what would you do if you had to solve, if you had to find what x was or any variable and figure out what the missing angles were. We're going to take a look at complementary example. Remember complementary equals 90 degrees. Here is a picture of a complementary set of angles. Two angles side by side, also known as adjacent, adjacent means side by side, that add 
excuse me, that add up to 90 degrees. So I have this plus this, and it equals 90. So I'm going to take what I know and write it out. The first angle plus the second angle equals a total of 90 degrees. Angle A, or first angle, plus the second angle equals 90. Now with any geometry formula I use, I say, what can I combine first? Can I put anything together? Well, the 90 stays the same. On this side, I have x plus x minus 20. First of all, I should always take subtraction and make it into addition. So that's negative 20. Can I add x plus x plus negative 20? I can only add parts of this. Only things that share a common variable or they don't have a variable at all. So I have an x here. What is the coefficient? What number goes in front of the x? Something has to go there. No, it's not zero. Zero times anything makes it disappear. I need the x. So what is the coefficient? Coefficient is the number in front of the variable. Has to be a one. What's the coefficient in front of this x? That's right, it's one. So let's join things together. One x plus one x. 2x. I still have a negative 20. So I combined those. I added that down. We're good. I cannot combine these. Why not? What does this not have? It does not have an x. So I'm ready now to solve. You have to remember back how to remove things. How do I get rid of an added number? How do I get rid of a multiplied number? Let's do the added number first. How do I get rid of a negative 20? I must add. What do I add to both sides? It's opposite. It's opposite is 20. Negative 20 plus 20 go away. The only thing I have left on the left-hand side is 2x. On the right-hand side, 90 plus 20 is 11, 11 with a 0, 110. I'm ready to get rid of a multiply 2. How do I get rid of a multiply 2? No, I don't add the opposite, I multiply. By what? The reciprocal. 1 over 2, 1 over 2. The 2's cancel out, I'm left with x. 1 half times 110, 55. I solved for x. Now you have to be careful here, it depends on what the question wants. If it says solve for x, you're done. If it says, what are the angle measurements, then you're not done. You have to go back into your picture. If x is 55, that means this x is 55. This angle was x minus 20. If x is 55, put in 55 for x. What is 55 minus 20? 35. How could you check? 55 plus 35 had better equal to what? It better equal 90. Complementary adds up to 90. Complementary adds up to 90. I'm going to go just a little faster. Please feel free to pause, rewind, whatever. But I, gotta, I have a time limit here. So let's take a look at supplementary angles equal to 180. Why? Because 180 is a straight angle. It has an S in it, so does the word supplementary. So if I have a picture, one angle is x, one angle is x minus 60. I'm going to take my pieces and make an equation. The first angle plus the second angle equals 180. That's my definition, that two angles add up to 180. Make my change. I have a minus again. It's just coincidence. It's not every time. So, 180 on this side. Can I combine things on the left? The coefficient of x is, the coefficient of x is, okay, again, this is coincidence that it's similar to the last problem. They're not all like this. 1x plus 1x is 2x plus negative 60. I need to get rid of the added number first. What do I add to both sides? Positive 60, it's opposite. Positive 60, 60 and negative 60 cancel out. I'm left with 2x equals 
Uh, 120. Oops, I subtracted, I should have added. About 240. Get rid of the multiply too. Multiply by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 over 2. Twos cross off, I'm left with x. One half of 240 is 120. If I need to, I can go back to my problem. x is 120. That means this side is 120 degrees. This side is 120 minus 60, which is 60. How do I check? Add them up. And I should get 180 degrees. Again, fill in. Right, the last type is vertical angles. Remember, they are equal. They're back to back. Although the concept is fairly simple, sometimes the solving is a little more complicated just because they are equal to each other. What I often like to do is if I take a look at the picture, it says what this angle is, it's equal to 2 times x plus 23. This side is 15x plus 10. What I like to do is just put an equal sign between them. That way I know this side is equal to that side. Which, by the way, when you think about triangles, which type of triangle set two angles equal to each other? Do you remember? They looked like this. where the two opposite angles were equal. That's right, it's isosceles. Okay, so this is equal to that. Let's write it. 2x plus 23 equals 15x plus 10. How comes there's no 90? What about 180? The reason is, is because these are not complementary or supplementary. Vertical simply means they're back to back and they're equal. So what do I do? If you remember back with the triangles, I have variables on both sides, here and on this side of my equal sign. So what I need to do is get rid of them, at least on one side. So I look, this has a coefficient of 15. This has a coefficient of 2. It's easier if you get rid of the lower of the two coefficients. Let's get rid of a 2x. Well, if I have an added 2x, what do I add to both sides? What's the opposite of 2x? That's right, negative 2x. Let's combine. 2x plus negative 2x is 0. I'm left with a 23 on this side. On this side, which of the three items can I put together? 15x, 10, negative 2x. That's right, it's the 15x and the negative 2x. 15 plus negative 2 is 13x. That crosses off, that crosses off, because they joined in to form 13x. What I'm still left with is a plus 10. So now I have variables on one side, which is a great thing. That's what I need. But I have to get rid of an added number and a times number. How do I get rid of an added number first? Add a 10, add the opposite, negative 10, negative 10. On the right hand side, 10 plus negative 10 is 0. I get 13x on this side. Negative 10 plus 23 is 13. I'm almost done. I know you look and say, well, just divide by 13. You're not allowed to divide this year. Why? Because we're getting better at algebra. That's why. Okay, times the reciprocal, 1 over 13. Times the reciprocal, 1 over 13. 13's cross off, I'm left with x. 13's cross off, I'm left with 1. So what does that mean? It means x equals 1. If I need to go back and solve, 